My story started in 2014. I was 15 weeks pregnant. I had a daughter, um, her name is Alice, and she was three years old. And I went for a routine blood test. And that's when she told me, you have leukemia. And I had to terminate the pregnancy if I wanted to survive. I did chemotherapy, a lot of it, and it brought me to remission. But unfortunately, 10 months after the remission, um, cancer came back. And cancer came back this time with a vengeance. And they told me that I needed to have a stem cell transplant. And the thing that was the most heartbreaking is I had no compatible donor. What I found out was all ethnic minorities are severely underrepresented on the worldwide bank. And finding a compatible donor for me was like a needle in a haystack. I was completely hopeless. I started to believe that I was going to die because how can you find a compatible donor? And so because I'm in the advertising business, my friends, my family, we launched a huge campaign. Summer 2014, we were the talk of the town. Save my Duong. Everybody wanted to save me. And um, we had billboards all over Canada. We had radio spots, digital banners on the web. We were there giving interviews. People were really interested. When I was sick, I made a promise to myself that if I ever survived, I would do something to help others. And I'm here to tell you that I am launching a nonprofit, and it's called the Swap the World Foundation. Because I'm gonna swap, I'm gonna swap everyone. <laughs> I'm gonna swap everyone. What I want to do is to replicate the successful model that I had to benefit other patients. We really want to get their story out there in the media. We have media partnerships. We have the technology to do that. All patients, 18,000 patients out there waiting to find their compatible donor. I want to do that for them.